Amos 3 and 1. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it up. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So that right there makes a difference. So the Lord said he's speaking to the children of Israel. He didn't say everybody, right, friend? He said he's speaking to the children of Israel. And now today we have to find out who the children of Israel are. But they tell us we're not the children of Israel. That's why we don't be, that's why some of us say, I don't believe in the Bible. That's why some of us say, uh, we Gentiles. Right. When the, when the white man wrote the Bible. Those things we'll say because we don't see ourselves in the Bible. Right. Once we understand and read it, we'll, we'll figure out that the children of Israel are the ones who were destroyed by God and who put a curse on and who the, and who the real uh, the Israelites are. When we read it, you'll know it's the black Hispanics and Native American Indians. Right. 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 And not the ones you see in Israel today. Right. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. What did he speak? Uh, uh, hear the word which the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family. Not just how we do. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord put us in captivity as a family, right. as a whole nation. That's right. But in this, in, in America, they separate us. They separate us. Blacks over here, Puerto Ricans over here. Uh, we dealing with our own problems. You dealing with your problems over here. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. I got my own problems. I'm African American, and, and my neighborhood I got my own problems. I get mine. You get yours. You, 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 I got mine. You get yours. But the God say, what did He say? Hear this word which I have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, against the whole family, against the whole nation. Read, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Which he brought out the land of Egypt. Our forefathers, which he brought out the land of Egypt. Read. Saying, you only have I known. You what? You only have I known. God has said, you the only people that I have known. I created everybody else, but you only have I known. Brother, you got a question, brother? Brother, brother, brother hey. hey. Brother, come on for a minute. Let me talk to you for this way. Round this way. Round this way. Yeah? Yeah. Talk to you for a minute. Oh, yeah, I really heard it loud. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name, brother? Andrew. Who? Andrew. Andrew? Yeah. I said they tell you he's out, he's been out here before. Yeah, yeah. You ain't grew your hair yet? Oh, you beard. Well, I got to know. Huh? Who is there about to see Huh? Yeah. Andrew. Right here. Yes, sir. Right here, Andrew. Oh, no. Okay. Back on that side right there. Yeah, I can see you. We can't, we can't be, be slothful and keep it God's commandments. Right. Because if we, we be slow, if we keep God's commandments, we're going to be in the condition that we're in. Right. Or death. Or death. Yeah. Read that again. Bring it out. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, yeah. I will punish you. He said what? I will punish you. So God said, he said, since you got it, therefore I'm going to punish you, friend. Friend, you, you, you know what your nationality is? Bring it out. I ain't going to bite you, friend. Come check, this, I'm gonna, come check this sign out right here. Okay, you what's your nationality, friend? What, what's in America? When you fill the application, anywhere you go, you gotta put a check box. Even if, even if the vote, was you don't post the vote. <laughs> African American. African American. All right. And they, they gave us that name because Africa is a continent and America is a continent. So that's not a nationality. Those are just what? Continents. Right? Those are just continents. So when we put an African American, you either American or you're African. And African got what, over thousands of um, tribes right. over there. And we don't know which one we are. So in America, America was came by America Best Beauty, which is a European up. white man. That's too far and Africa was, 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 was named by another European, which is Neo Scipios Africanus. And they put those names together and gave it to us, African Americans, to intermingle us, to intermingle us with the original Africans, right. which were not original Africans. We are the children of Israel, the people that was the people that was in captivity during the time of, of Egypt. Bring it out. They had another black nation in captivity, right. and that black nation was the children of Israel. Right. So the original Africans had the children of Israel in captivity. Read that. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you. 
for all your iniquities. So God said he's going to punish the black Hispanics and Native American Indians for all of our iniquities. That's, right. That's why you see us get shot down in the streets. Right. That's why you see when, when the police kill us, there's no repercussion. Right. There's nothing for them. If you, you do see one, you, 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 you see one, one police get tired, so that makes your mind clear. Right. You see one officer get some time in prison when, when you got millions of black, black Hispanic men locked up in prison right. for little or nothing. Bring it up. But you see one white person go to prison for killing a black man and now your conscience is low. I mean, now your conscience, now you happy. Right. When, when they done destroyed your whole nation. We got to get young. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquity. So God is punishing us for our sins, for our iniquities, for the things we've done against him. Get Deuteronomy 28, six, what you got? Zechariah 11, 5. Okay, get that. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Bring it out. Whose possessors slay them? So it says our possessors. It's possessors somebody that own you. It says our possessors slay us. Read that again. Whose possessors slay them uh -huh. and hold themselves not guilty. So brother, hey brother, so it say our possessors slay us and they hold themselves not guilty. Right. Because it's their court system. They can, they can, they can lock you up or let you go. But who do they lock up? The black Hispanics and Native American Indians. That's right. And they let go to other nations. Right. Read that again. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. So they... Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, you want to know? Got a question? Huh? Oh, we out here teaching uh, nationality according to the Bible. Teaching our people that they're the children of Israel according to the Bible. That they are the greatest people on the face of the earth. That's right. As you see us, we're not we're not the greatest people on the face of the earth. We are the low. We are the low. Are we, are you, what, what's your nationality? I'm female. No, your nationality. Female is not a nationality. We're not playing. So you can't play no games with me. Oh, I'm not. I know female is not a nationality. So let's not. See, if you wanna, if you wanna have a conversation, let's talk to each other like adults. Don't talk to me like I'm a child. That's over with. Right. Okay. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, I'm not gonna play no games. <laughs> Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Huh? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord say what? He gonna bring the children of Israel and what? Into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord say he gonna bring the black Hispanics and Native American Indians into Egypt a second time with ships. That's right. And we know in the history that the, the, the Israel went over to Egypt by, by walking. When they was in the wilderness and they didn't have anything. They walked into Egypt. They didn't take any ship over there. Read that again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. They say, when we get on the ships, we're going to leave our land and we're not going to see it again. We're going to leave our homeland and we're not going to see it again. Read. Right. And there ye shall be sold. So it say, and there. So that means when those slave ships docked in uh, 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 America. in America, Caribbean. when they docked in the Caribbean, and when they docked in Puerto Rico, read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. It say when we and when they docked, it said we were going to be sold to our enemies. When we get when we when we were taken from our land and came over here, God said we were going to be sold to our enemies. Let's get that again, enemies, not friends, enemies. Read. For bond men. For what? For bond men. For slave men. Read. And bond women. And slave women. That, that's what that means. It's bond men, bond women, slave men, slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. They say what? And no man shall buy you. They say, and no man shall save us. Right. No man shall buy us. Right. No man right. shall get us out of this condition that we in but Christ the Messiah. Right. The black Messiah.
it's so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.